Alright guys, look, before this video starts, transmission's already on the floor. Pretty much a disclaimer right here that this is not a tutorial. If this was a tutorial, it would have took way longer than it already has. Um, it's been like a week since the car's been on jacks. And that's because we didn't have the right parts or we were waiting for parts. And I just want to throw that out there before um, we begin. Alright guys, so it's barely 9.40. Here we have my clutch kit right here. So what went out was my throwout bearing, but... If I'm gonna be dropping the tranny, I might as well go ahead and replace the clutch now. Luckily, this actually comes with a throwout bearing, so that's good. Bruh. That's unfortunate, bro. He literally just got this car. Obviously, like, insurance should cover it, but... I had to pass that clap bad luck. Now I'm not gonna have it. Now it's gonna be him. Let's go ahead and turn on the car really quick. Because the car hasn't been turned on in like four or five days. I want to say like four days. All right, so the plan is tomorrow I'm going to drive to Chris's house in this car. Hopefully with no problems. But yeah, that's pretty much. But yeah, the plan is to drive this car tomorrow and then get the throttle bearing and clutch put on. But if it doesn't run, you know. Let me go ahead and turn on the car real quick. The clutch is so stiff. He's scared already. Yeah, he's about to dip. All right. So yeah, you guys heard that right there. It sounds so bad, honestly. Um, I actually can't wait to get this fixed tomorrow. I'm actually very, very excited. In the beginning, I was kind of like, ah, do I want to do I want to risk messing it up more? And Chris just told me, he was like, bro, just get it done. You know, I've done it a few times. Should be easy. And I was like, bet. If I can save money, I'm going to save money. On a two hour drive. Why are you so happy? <laughs> bro, are you hyped? Yeah, let's yeah. go, bro. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> don't look, don't look. Got it. Oh, this thing is clean. Y'all know I'm about to be breaking all the necks. Sheesh, this looks so good. Guys, on the other hand, give me a sec, give me a sec. It's crumpled up right now, but I just put my down payment for my wrap. Take your way. This can't be happening, bro. My car won't even go into gear. Of course it is. Let's trade cars. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sheesh, I look like a fucking rainbow, bro. Don't roast me, bro. It's the beater close from we're working on the car. Today, you're getting dirty. Ah, fuck. I just hit my ankle on the exhaust tip. Oh, I know it's not gonna turn on. Please, not actually. It should. Technically, it should, but I have a feeling it won't. Oh, that was so bad. I honestly probably should have just like stopped. Oh, that was bad. That hurt. Loki smelled like something was cooking. Not a lie. Hopefully, I can make it at least 10 minutes to Chris's house and then we just get started on this right away. All right, guys, honestly, 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 I'm very excited. I'm very excited, very nervous. This is my first time ever doing, um, dropping a transmission, actually. It's my first time ever dropping any transmission. Um, I'm more nervous about, like, the car not working in the middle of the road. Worst case scenario, we'll just call Chris, pick us up, and go from there. I also changed my sweats because I didn't want to be wearing green. Let's go. Guys, literally, three minutes after leaving my house. I haven't even left like the, the complex, I guess you can say. And we're stuck, bruh. We're literally stuck. Car won't go into any gear. We're stuck. Car's not going into any gear, bro. 
any fucking gear. I was stuck at the light up there, and I rolled it back with some dude. And then when I was up there, I tried so hard, so much, that the starter got so overheated it wouldn't even turn on. On the bottom below airlift. Or high? Is that high? No, that's the high ride height. The ride height's the one in the middle. It's clean, bro. So currently. We are letting the car roll as you guys can see. We got Chris and my brother back there. Just rolling through here, bro. You feel me? I'm tired. <sighs> you know, hear that throat bearing? Shit's cooked, bro. We were at the 7 Eleven by my house, which was just around the corner, but. Instead of doing the work at his house, we decided, fuck it, pull the car back to my house. <laughs> hey, what if your brakes give out? <laughs> It's like 10 in the morning. <laughs> You're gonna put it in the garage? Damn. You want me to move the truck? Yeah. The legs are killing me, dude. I had to put the Crocs in four wheel drive. <laughs> four dude. They kept slipping off, dude, when I was pushing it. Go ahead and jack up the car, um, take off my exhaust, take out the battery, take out the shaft, and pretty much try and get as much done as possible. All right guys, so here we have the tools we're gonna be using. Obviously we have a torque wrench, we have a bunch of sockets, we have breaker bars, extensions, uh, ratchets, wrenches, and of course lights when it gets dark, because I know it's gonna get dark during this. And um, the clutch, I went with the Exidy OEM clutch, just because I'm not boosted or anything, and I don't need some crazy clutch. For removing your transmission from the engine, uh, any pry bar will work. I'm using an impact. If you guys do have an impact, um, use it because it will save a lot of time. And one more thing I did forget to add was you will need some Allens, obviously some transmission fluid. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up a little later. do have a Tome exhaust so um, it's pretty much all one piece and also down to the mid pipe is where it connects to the down pipe but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take the exhaust and down pipe off together sheesh Quick mass for this one. Oh, yo, you're kidding me. Don't tell me it. Something's leaking. What?
Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off the shaft. This nice big black sh It's gonna be these four bolts. Fourteen. You're alone. You don't want to break your knuckles. Do a little tapage. Damn. I fucking hate this car right now, bro. It's not nighttime. It's actually next morning. I stay organized. Get it done faster. Mm -mm. As you guys know, with ah, uh, bro, I don't even want to show my face. But I gotta explain this real quick. You guys know how, well not easy, but like, the ones you know are just taking off bolts and like putting them back on. Yeah, so that was this kind of job, right? Let me show you all real quick. I know y'all see that bolt right there, bro. That's just literally almost rounded, dude. And it doesn't, it doesn't budge. See, I used a six point wrench. So, in my story on Instagram, I did say socket, but I meant this. Um, this, these are made so that you don't strip anything, right? They're made to the size of the bolt, as you guys can see. And I ended up rounding one with this. Here we are. See, these sockets are a little different. Uh, they're meant to hug the rounded bolt. So, hopefully this works. Hopefully they fit, um, where it needs to go. Guys, no bullshit. This works. It is, if it is, not gonna hit me. Oh no. Pouring outside. But we back. We back in the stew. All right, so what we're doing right now is pretty much taking all the bolts off of the transmission so that it could be dropped. Schlong, the <laughs> schlong bolts. It's stuck on the threads, bro. That's what it's stuck on. There it is. Oh, it's off on this side. Ah! Bro, wait. 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 Oh, I was like, bro, you're just standing up by this. <laughs> bro. Dude, that shit's cooked. Dude, look at the bag. Oh my gosh. No wonder that shit wouldn't go in gear. Oh. oh my gosh, bro. Look at this. Oh, <gasps> bro, this is what I was scared of. I need another one. Look at this, bro. What if you put it back with this? This is how the clip is supposed to look if it would focus. Right there, there's one clip. And then on the other side, it's like, I guess you can say the opposite way, but. Yeah, just in case you guys wanted a reference. Looks so beat, but the transmission is finally, finally on. Um, literally, the tranny would not go back onto the engine for whatever reason, and then we finally got it back on. I just had the biggest heart attack ever. Um, before I even put any of this stuff on, because um, I did end up taking apart the interior, I was trying to put it like I was trying to make sure all the gears went in, and second would not go in. Literally, every gear would go in but second, and I was so scared that we messed something up in the clutch or something whatever apparently you need to have the reverse lockout for it to even go into second maybe i'm wrong maybe something just moved and now it works but um before when i didn't have this lockout on um it wouldn't go into second shaft is on 
Need to put the oil, go ahead and just plug it in and we're done. took it out and just putting it in reverse felt so good like going through the gears it's so smooth and then you don't hear anything no more it's like 